New information tonight about the suspected drunk driving crash that killed a man in Pritchard. We have learned the driver, 70-year-old John King, has a long history of DUI arrests. This latest drunk driving arrest, his sixth. Tonight, NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson investigating why King was on the street in the first place. Rachel? Well, Greg, you can see he has a rap sheet for DUIs. We wanted to know why King was not on the district attorney's office radar. Today is a holiday, so the office was closed, but we talked to Pritchard police who broke it down for us. 70 year old John King has a history of six DUI arrests for those within the past two years. Multiple reckless endangerment charges, driving while his license was revoked, and now vehicular homicide. Pritchard police say Deshaun Barnes was either riding along or crossing the street when King slammed into him Saturday night. Prior to this incident where this victim was killed, there was a prior incident between 2017 and now where there was at least one other person injured in this, in, in this type of situation where he was driving under the influence. From 2001 to now, there are 30 charges total. Most of these charges fall within Mobile Municipal Court. Municipal courts in Alabama are limited to misdemeanors, limiting their sentences to not more than one year in the county jail, not more than $6,000 in fines. It is unclear by the court records we have been able to obtain if Mr. King was ever found guilty of his six prior DUI arrests in Mobile and Pritchard. Deshaun Barnes' family says King should have never been behind the wheel. They let that man come out and have a chance to even have another DUI and now vehicular homicide. He didn't have my cousin to deserve that. He didn't deserve to die like that. Most definitely he shouldn't have been behind the wheel because he was a menace to society. You have this many DUIs. You shouldn't be on the road at any time because evidently you have a problem. We asked Pritchard police what the process is before the DA's office steps in. We do our part as um, police officers by uh, making the arrests and giving the citations. Then it goes to the DMV, which they did their job as well by revoking his license. But however, you can cite people all day long for driving while suspended, speeding, reckless driving, all those incidents. They can be arrested for them. But at some point in time, people still take chances and drive in anyway. A court date for King has not been set yet. NBC 15 will continue to investigate why King was on the street. Greg. Rachel, thanks. King was charged in municipal court rather than district court. Because of city laws, we are unable to pull that information. We don't know if he had ever been convicted of any of his cases.